News from Ukraine is uppermost in our hearts and minds today as we pray together for an end to the bloodshed and violence. Hi, I'm Connie Vandeman Jeffrey, and this is All God's People. The number of refugees leaving Ukraine is rising daily, and what we know about the war changes with each news cycle. But this we know. Seventh-day Adventists are responding to the crisis in all the ways we know. First and foremost, we are praying for peace. There are a number of Ukrainian congregations all across our union. Sacramento is home to one of the largest Slavic populations in the United States, with many coming from Ukraine. Northern California Conference is blessed to have three churches serve them, Sacramento Slavic, Sacramento Ukrainian, and Sacramento Yugoslavian churches, with a combined membership of approximately 500 people. Many of these members are apprehensive and worried about the well-being of their loved ones in Ukraine or those fleeing the country, as seen in a recent news report of the Fair Oaks Church from Fox 40 News. Our friends, our colleagues, our relatives are there and they are in very big dangers. My father, my mother, my brother, my cousins, all my family are there and uh, of course I'm very scary about them because they see every night, uh, many times, they listen this sound about uh, air attack on city and it's very, very scary. The power of prayer and their personal faith has made a difference to this congregation and to all of our churches and members so personally affected by this crisis. Let's continue to pray for the peace so desperately needed in this region of the world. Links to resources and information on how the church is responding are in the description box. On Sunday, March 6, Holbrook Indian School celebrated its 75th anniversary, an event that was live streamed and is now archived on their website. Alumni, former staff, along with representatives from the Pacific Union Conference and the North American Division of Seventh-day Adventists, together celebrated God's hand in the school's 75 years of service. From the one building mission school that opened its doors in the 1940s as SDA Mission School, Holbrook Indian School has grown into a modern facility that has kept pace with today's technology and education standards. For 75 years, Holbrook Indian School has enriched the lives of hundreds of Native Americans. Former students have become nurses, lawyers, business owners, community leaders, pastors, human services agents, teachers, members of the U.S. Armed Forces, school administrators, a circuit court judge, and even a chief mechanic for the U.S. Navy Blue Angels. But what surpasses these successes is that Holbrook's alumni go on to live lives built on the knowledge that they are deeply loved by our Creator. Congratulations, Holbrook Indian School, on 75 years of dedication and service to Native Americans. Links to a special episode of All God's People highlighting Holbrook Indian School, as well as to the 75th anniversary celebration last Sunday, are in the description box. Safety Sabbath is just two weeks away. Safety Sabbath is an opportunity for Seventh-day Adventist churches to focus on safety issues and create a safer environment for their congregation. Each year, Adventist Risk Management provides churches with resources to help them focus on a specific area of safety. This year, Safety Sabbath will be March 26, and the theme is Inclusive Emergency Planning. Participating churches will receive free resources covering disability awareness and why it matters, a checklist promoting inclusive emergency planning, youth resources and activities on disability awareness. Experts estimate one in four adults in the U.S. live with a disability. Persons with disabilities face many barriers that may expose them to increased risks in everyday life, including in churches and schools. These barriers make inclusive emergency planning extremely important. Sign up today for Safety Sabbath 2022 and follow Christ's example to protect the vulnerable. Just go to safetysabbath.com for more information. A memory verse from my earliest Sabbath school class keeps coming to mind as I think of safety and of Ukrainians fleeing their country. It's Psalm 9111 and you know it by heart like I do. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. May God's peace and his angels surround all God's people today as we rest in the assurance of his love and grace.